What is up guys, it is Robert of Gaming with me and welcome to a whole nother year of console war. That is right, November 28th of last year and the year before I did a thing called console war which is basically uh, a little thing that I like to do where I suggest to you whether you should buy the Wii U, the Xbox One, or PS4 first, last, uh, first, second, or last uh, to me. That's the little series I like to do yearly and... I haven't made a video in a bit because some stuff, I guess. I don't know why. But regardless, and, it, and just let you know, if, if you see that this light is too bright, I don't know. You tell me. I'm already white, so maybe this makes me even paler. I don't know. It's just the the light behind me, my main source of light is behind me, so I become darker. And then it's so dark to the point where it's like, uh, you can't really see too bad. I mean, you can't really see too good. And now I got like the phone shining in my eyes, but we'll do this. I turn blind it's okay um anyway so last year I just talked about uh, some revisions in uh, controllers and then I talked straight to the games so let's talk about it the PS4 had a PS4 slim as we all know and it doesn't really change anything it's just well slimmer <laughs> and uh, it's got a you know a cooler ish design I guess you could say if you want it's not like uh, the the clear uh, finish like where you get fingerprints. It's now all matte or whatever they they, they call it. You know, the, you know the matte finish, and uh, that's nice. It looks good. It's not. It's more pressable buttons uh, for the power, which is nice. I like that better. Um, and yeah, that's all it is. Is slim. You know, the usual slim of the next console hardware. You know, uh, upgrade. And then we had the PS4 Pro within a month, which is ridiculous to me. I don't get how Sony did that, but whatever. Um, <laughs> PS4 Pro is basically 4K gaming in quotation marks, as I just did right now. It's not native 4K. It's actually upscaled 4K. And it adds, you know, HDR and stuff like that. But it actually doesn't enhance performance, really, in terms of uh, frame rate. It actually lowers the frame rate in some uh, circumstances. While there are some, there are some games that will have like a 1080, uh, uh, 60 frames per second mode. You know what I mean? But that's for only certain games. While uh, most of them, it'll be like 4K 30. And again, upscale 4K a lot of the times. Some there's only two games I believe that are native 4K, which is The Last of Us Remastered and Skyrim. I want to say. Which, um, <laughs> both older games, <laughs> but okay, <laughs> you know what I mean, and it, it, it uh, has the, the texture qualities better and stuff like that, but overall it's just more of a resolution, uh, machine, and if you love resolution, if you're a resolution ho, <laughs> I guess that's the machine for you, and, um, but if you, if you want the performance, like frames per second, you might as well just stick with your, uh, slim or your regular. PS4 for right now and then also we have the Xbox one slim which uh, is a very nice design It's very sleek it's tinier than the Xbox one and I also do quotations because they say it's 40% when in all reality it's probably like maybe 10% smaller <laughs> it really isn't that much uh, smaller but it is a nicer looking console for sure and uh, it adds 4k blu-ray support which is nice and um that's really it oh and hdr it also adds hdr just like the ps4 pro so that's cool you know what I mean? and it, that that's really it i don't know if my yo i don't i i still don't know if my laptop turns off if i if, if it turns whatever <laughs> you can't even see what, what it is but uh yeah and, and that's really it you got the ps4 pro ps4 slim and xbox one slim it was the year of the hardware revisions for sony and microsoft nintendo on the other side obviously it's just the wii u and that's it which is perfectly fine i don't, I don't need an upgrade for ps4 or xbox one mainly because i got a pc this year so it's really nice you know um but yeah, now that we're through with that, let's just talk about the juiciness, the games, the exclusives. And now when I talk about exclusives, I talk about exclusives, aka it is only on one platform. If you could play it on something else, that's not exclusive anymore. <laughs> that's, that's what the meaning of exclusive is, people. 
And so people like to really stretch it, especially Microsoft, once we once we talk about Microsoft and the Xbox. Um, let's just talk about, we'll go from the number exclusives uh, from lowest to highest. So lowest was Microsoft <laughs> with the Xbox One. There are zero exclusives <laughs> for the Xbox One that came out this year. And I I'm talking about from November 28th of 20. 15 to November 28th of 2016 by the way um, zero exclusives that came that came out reason is because Microsoft is definitely going the PC route now and they're not a machine for exclusives none of their exclusives are exclusives anymore <laughs> they're all on PC now like Gears is on PC Record was on PC uh, Forza Horizon 3 was on PC all that stuff are is on PC now also so if you have a PC, you literally have zero reasons, zero reason to buy an Xbox ever again because Halo will likely be on PC now. And that might be a good strategy for them because they own PC basically, they're Windows, you know what I mean? That's perfectly fine for them and I don't think that's a bad thing for them. It's just, if you're going out to buy a new console, why should I buy the Xbox at all? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at all. So if you wanted to, for some reason, never game on PC, and I mean, like, you you despise the PC Master Race for some reason, like, you just hate it, and you never want to play on it, then I guess Xbox is the closest. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess. Um, but other than that, like, there's no longer going to be any exclusives for Xbox, and for me, the next Xbox... I don't think I'll ever have a reason to purchase one. Honestly, I really don't. Because there's no games that you have to buy to play on Xbox. And honestly, Windows, uh, Microsoft will still get my money because I'll still buy their games, but on PC. So it's just kind of however you see it, honestly. Then second, I'm going to move this a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if this is good. How we'll see. Um, and then second was Sony, which came out with wha a whopping one exclusive, and that was Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, which, however, even though it's a whopping one, it's one of the best games of the year. Hands down, maybe the best game of the year? I don't know. We'll, see. we'll talk about that. We'll see. Um, awesome game really do really really love that game nathan drake and the whole gang is back in uncharted 4 and it's awesome it's a great game and i definitely recommend you buying one uh, uh buying playstation i mean i recommend basically buying all of them you know to play the exclusives um but yeah <laughs> that was it like that that's it uncharted 4 and however in two weeks we will be getting the last guardian Finally, so The Last Guardian will be releasing in December 6th. Uh, and there you go, that's another exclusive right there. So, two exclusives for the year. Obviously, that's later on in the year, two weeks only. Only two weeks, not a long time, but still, only two exclusives throughout your whole year. And you've sold 40 something million. Oh no, almost 50 million? There, this should be the year, year three. This should be the year where you're just downpouring on exclusives to me, but whatever. I guess not. I guess not. All we're getting next year is Horizon so far. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's really it. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm hoping for more, but we'll, hopefully Sony has more to offer. We'll see. We'll see. Because God of War and Spider-Man ain't coming until 2018 guaranteed. <laughs> um, and that's really it. That was really it from Sony's side and then now obviously number one the last people is nintendo with uh some exclusives so this came out december of last year obviously like i said november 28th and november 28th xenoblade chronicles x a action rpg that is freaking awesome and that i really need to get back into there's i mean there's a lot of games i gotta get back into but it, amazing game xenoblade it was actually my second game of, of last year um, with uh, Fallout 4 in, in third, and maybe I, I would change that. I don't know. I I, I got I got to get back into Xenoblade. It's an it's an awesome game. It truly, is huge open world. A lot of characters to to uh talk to and missions to ex to do, creatures to find and, and kill, <laughs> missions to do. A ton of them. I mean, it 
Ugh, that's why I haven't beaten it because it's so long. But it, it's a ton of fun, and I definitely recommend picking up that game. The second game was Pokémon Tournament for Wii U. <laughs> Pokémon Tournament is also another very good game that I would love to get back into, <laughs> play more of. Uh, just when I have Smash Brothers on the same system, I'm gonna go automatically to Smash. But Pokémon Tournament is still another great game that if you're into fighters, you'll definitely like Honesty, and that's truly, truly legit. If you like, uh, um, uh. Fighters, Pokemon Tournament is going to be right up your alley for sure. It's a great fighter, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Then number three is a very controversial title. Actually, the next two are controversial titles. And that is Star Fox Zero. <laughs> um, and I actually really like this game. People really complained about this game because of the controls. Because it, it does, you know, with the gamepad, it does like... Uh, gyro sensors and all that and it turned into four different like vehicles and it i really really enjoy the game however a lot of people uh had a problem with the controls and that's fine if you have a problem with the controls that's fine for me i got it down packed within like 10 minutes literally i picked up the controller and i was doing it i was like what was what was so wrong guys <laughs> i'm pretty sure this is how i'm doing it. i was doing it correctly i beat the game so i was you know i did fine with it but okay fine uh, Star Fox Zero though, it's still a ton of fun. I definitely recommend it also. If you don't know what it is, it's an on-rail shooter sort of uh, game with Fox McCloud. And then the last game is another very controversial game that I don't think should be controversial at all because it is fantastic. And people need to give it a, a chance just because people don't like the battle system. Whatever. That's right. The fourth and final game, Paper Mario Color Splash. Paper Mario Color Splash is fantastic. It's one of my favorite games of this year because I've been loving the Paper Mario franchise. I just played uh, Paper Mario on N64 and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door on GameCube, which I both love and both of them are some of my favorite games of all time already. Um, but Color Splash is awesome within its own right. It's, it's a great game and I definitely think people should give it a chance. It's an adventure game, you know, with also RPG elements. Uh, because it's got like turn-based battling uh, and I really enjoy it. I really do and I think people should should really give it a chance But other than that that was it also four exclusives not a lot <laughs> overall every single camp was kind of like uh, a Very uh, relaxed year. They were all just kind of looking like yeah, guys. However, Nintendo had an excuse <laughs> they got a new console coming out uh, Sony and Microsoft really don't <laughs> Microsoft does also because they have PC now um, Sony <laughs> what are you doing you have 50 million consoles outlined like you're the king in terms of console sales in terms of hardware sales not in terms of software sales but definitely in terms of hardware sales like come on you gotta you gotta make some new games eventually um, but I, I like all three consoles anyway uh, and yeah that's really it now here's the thing for me personally I would say first buy a Wii U, second buy a PS4, and third buy an Xbox One slash PC. <laughs> um, however, there's a catch this year. This year is very different because the Wii U, there won't be any more first party games, really. Um, this is, Paper Mario was basically the last one because, like I said, they're making, as you also know, Nintendo is having the Nintendo Switch coming out in March. And it makes for an idea where it's like, well, do you buy the Wii U or do you wait for the Switch? You know, for me personally, I would say 100% buy Wii U because there's so many damn games that you probably haven't played. Um, however, m may maybe those will get ports. I mean, there's those rumors that they're getting ports on the Switch, which again, I don't believe in the rumors. Like, okay, uh, that's a totally different um, video, but, like, it, I, it depends on you. To me, there's there's three years, no, I'm sorry, four years worth of games that you have to play, you know, that is on Wii U, while the Switch will only have maybe a couple games at launch, obviously. Um, so, to me, personally, I would still say get a Wii U, then a PS4, then an Xbox One. Because you could wait on PS4 because they still haven't released Horizon. They still haven't released God of War and Spider-Man. You know, um, 
that's to me and right now I'm going to show you the lineup of every single exclusive for the whole time. So as you can see right here, I actually can't see how, how this is coming out. But I'll put it right in the back. I think the difference is pretty obvious. <laughs> You've got on the Wii U side, you've got Star Fox Zero, Pokemon Tournament, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Paper Mario Color Splash, Nintendo Land, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Free, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Yoshi's Bully World, High Warrior, Super Mario 3D World, New Super Mario Brothers U, Super Mario Maker, Mario Kart 8, Splatoon, Bayonetta 2, Pikmin 3, and Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, while PS4 has Uncharted 4, Thieves End, Bloodborne Until Dawn, and Infamous Second Son while Xbox One has Halo 5 Guardians in Sunset Overdrive. So yeah, this is over the span of, uh, well, the Wii U, four years, and PS4 and Xbox One, three years. You pick. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, that was every single one, as you can see, a lot of Wii U exclusives, uh, uh, a small amount on the other platforms, you know, sadly, but, uh, other than that, that's really it, guys. To me, again, I still think the Nintendo did a fantastic job on the Wii U. The Wii U is honestly my favorite console of all time. I absolutely love the system. There's so many exclusives and different genres of games on that system that I really think everyone should pick it up and give it a try. Because there's, no matter what genre you like, there's at least one game out there that you like. And people are obviously buying PS4s, which only have like <laughs> five exclusives. So you gotta play something, you know what I mean? And to me... You'll like them if you just give them a chance. I really believe you you would like the Wii U exclusives, and I and I think the Wii U is incredibly underrated, and you'll like it a lot. And PS4 for sure is the second because of its uh, exclusives. I I really love Uncharted 4. You got uh, great games like Bloodborne. You got great games like Until Dawn and an amazing game Infamous Second Son that is incredibly underrated to me too. And then Xbox One is the, you know, the, the third one to me where you just have Halo and Sunset Overdrive. Now, if you have a P if you don't have a PC, then you could kind of work around uh, the games you like. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, guys, what do you guys think? What have you bought? What consoles have you bought? Will you be buying a Wii U or will you be waiting out because you want to get a Switch? Or you're going to just pick up a Wii U because you have a whole generation's worth of games to pick up. You know what I mean? That's the that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, to me, again, I think you should pick up basically all of them anyway, because there's a ton of games to play on everything. It's, well, I mean, ton of games, as in also third party for for PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, I mean, combined, you gotta. I mean, there's just a lot of games you could pick out from, and I think you'll enjoy all of them. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time. See ya! It won't be another two weeks because I'm dicking around. Uh, December, guys. Top 10 greatest games of 2016 is coming up eventually. Holy crap, I gotta start working on that now with my schedule. I need to get a haircut, too. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I don't know why I do that all the time. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>